are some people who believe in ghosts, and there are some people who don't. If you're the believe in ghosts kind, then this story is about one. And if you're the don't believe in ghosts kind, well, just for fun, this story is about one anyway. His name was Casper, and he was surely the most unusual ghost there ever was, or wasn't, depending on how you feel about it. Every night, stroke of 12, his brothers and sisters scampered out joyously to frighten the folk of the neighborhood. stay home and not frighten people, which goes to show how unusual he really was. <laughs> Wake up, Casper! Time to scare people! <laughs> Casper just doesn't like to scare people. Yes, it sounds sort of silly, but, well, he'd just rather make friends with them. Casper just couldn't stand it any longer. So, Casper decided to leave home to seek new environments where he might forget he's a ghost and make friends with the world.
This a perfect setting for a spine-tingling ghost story. Well, strangely enough, this is a ghost story. Do you scare easily? Do you have nightmares? Do shadows on the wall front you? <laughs> well, relax. This isn't that kind of a story. And just to prove it, let me introduce a ghost that is out of this world. His name is Casper. Casper's neighbors go off on their job of scaring the daylights out of people. Contact! Boom! 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 Come on, Casper! Time to go out and boo people! <laughs> 
Casper doesn't want to go out and boo people. He wants to be friendly. Casper sees no future in this sort of life. So he decides to go out and make friends. Oh, uh, what's your name? Thank <laughs> you. 
Birdie! Birdie! They're gone! Where are you? ever I don't think anyone ever really believes in ghosts or ghost stories. But uh, there is one they tell about an old deserted little red schoolhouse. A hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. Moo, moo, moo! A hunting we will go, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. Moo, moo, moo! A hunting we will go. They were all such willing and apt little pupils. That is, all except poor little Casper, who just wouldn't scare people. Why, he just wanted to be friends with everyone. For homework tonight, we will go out and practice what we screech. Class dismissed. A hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. Now, every night while his classmates were out scaring the daylights out of people, Casper would happily hop along, hoping to find a friend. Uh, mm, Dudley. 
During the next few weeks, I'm sure you couldn't have found a ghost in better spirits than our little Casper. snuggle up in their little nest, and Casper would guard his little friend Dudley with his very life, uh, or with whatever it might be called. <laughs> ah, friendship is such a beautiful thing. You're old enough yet, but you have to learn how to fly sometime. <laughs> That's nothing. You just need some ground training first. Now watch me. Hooray, you're flying! Well, at last you earn your wings.
would you like to... Gosh, some animals are so sensitive. I sure wish I could get rid of this toad. Huh? making you sneeze, Wheezy. Hooray! I'm never going to sneeze again. I'm never going to sneeze again. I'm never going to sneeze again. I sure was lucky to meet you, Casper. Look, Wheezy. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
Louisie. 